What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Alone Data Decks with me the one. Entering the last episode we covered the bug or the water bug type Arachnid and I gave you a choice of two Pokemon for today. It was a battle between two grass types Lorantis and Shinotech and Lorantis came out on top only just though but we'll be covering Lorantis today but next episode we'll have another Alolan form to look at now. One of these contenders we've seen before that's Alolan Ninetales but the new the new brawler in the battle is, of course, a lone executor. So, if you'd like to see that covered, let me know down below by saying executor, or if Nine Tails is your guy or gal, let me know by commenting down below saying Nine Tails. But let's jump in and have a look at Lorantis. So, number 754 in the National Pokédex is the Bloom Sickle Pokémon and a pure Grass type. It stands at only 2 foot 11 inches or 0.9 meters, so it's actually pretty small, and weighs again only 40.8 pounds or 18.5 kilograms. It's in the grass egg group only, but it's not too surprising really, and the male female split is simply 50-50. Simply Evolution wise we have Fermantis, and that will evolve into Lorantis when it's got reached level 34 or above, but only during the day, so of course you have to make sure of that. Base stat wise, if we have a look, Lorantis' base stats aren't actually that stellar. Looking at it, its highest stat is attack at 105, and then its rest is sort of just spread out. Defenses both have 90. Special attack has 80, and then health points has 70, with speed being 45, so again it's a very slow Pokemon. And yeah, really the stats aren't anything special to be honest. Ability wise, it gets two abilities available. The first is a Leaf Guard, which prevents it getting status conditions in sunny weather. Okay, it's good, but sun isn't really that great a thing anymore. But the hidden ability is slightly better, and that is Contrary, which basically reverses any stat changes. Now this is very good, for example, makes you not, not just immune to Intimidate, but it reverses the effect of Intimidate, meaning that of course you get plus one attack if an Intimidated Pokemon switches on you, which is pretty damn good, and thanks to the moves there are a few benefits to it as well. First up, looking at the typing though before we jump onto that, it's a pure grass, so there's not a huge amount to say, four resistances in grass, water, electric and ground, five weaknesses in fire, flying, poison, bug and ice, and then neutral from all the rest, so Sort of inherently grass is not a strong type, it's got more weaknesses than resistances, and the stab of grass isn't actually that good anyway. It's good against what water, ground, rock. That's that's pretty much it, you know, it's not a strong type overall, but Lorantis it's not a you know, huge drain on Lorantis's power really. So move wise. How many moves are we looking at? Well, we're looking at seven, so not a huge amount of moves, but some some good ones you might want to look at here. First up we have a level 28 synthesis. Now of course this is if you're looking to sort of use Lorantis in the more of an, sorry, a defensive way, but of course it's a method of help at restoration, and as you'll see when we come to the sets, really the, the move pool is limited, so you might as well run synthesis because of course it can restore 50% of your health points or more in sun, I believe, so that's pretty good there. Then at level 47 we have Solar Blade. Now of course I thought it best to mention this. It's a signature move of Lorantis currently. It's the, you know, the, the physical version of Solar Beam, 125 base power with of course physical and of course you know, if you have the sun up it's a one turn move which is pretty damn good. So of course if you're running Leaf Guard that does help there. However Lorantis' stats don't really... overall it's not powerful enough to make use of this as we'll see in a minute. We then have two TMs, the first of these is TM06 Toxic which as I mentioned sort of you know if you've only got one attacking move, you might as well fill the rest of your slots with something useful, and Toxic can be helpful in this aspect. It's a 90% accuracy, so it's not poison type, but it's still pretty good. And then we have TM90 Substitute, which of course gives you a substitute, which can be combo with Synthesis, because obviously you sub up, and if they don't kill that sub in the first turn, you can then Synthesis the next turn to restore the health points you lost from the sub, and if you know, the sub stays up, then you're pretty good in that aspect there. A few egg moves as well though, the first is, is Aromatherapy, again if you really want attacking move, support moves are also pretty good. Aromatherapy heals the whole of your team, especially yourself as well if you've got a burn or, or toxic weather. And we have Default which is similar to Aromatherapy but different aspect, removes anything from the field, so spikes, stealth rocks, toxic spikes and such, pretty good still. And then one final egg move which is probably the move you'll want to use uh, rather than a Soda Blade is Leaf Storm. Leaf Storm, 130 base power, pretty, you know, it's more powerful than Solar Blade, only that percent accuracy and of course it does lower your special attack by I think two stages, but contrary, flips that so you get plus two special attack from using it, and of course this is what we have to build a set with the Rantus around. Its stats are not stellar at all, you could go for a Solar Blade set and run on you know, maybe one or two other physical moves on it, but it's really that's not strong enough, you know, the attack is only 105, defenses are not high enough to keep you sort of, you know, yeah, 
healthy enough while you're going for these um, mediocre powered moves, and of course your speed is only 45, which means you can't be really speedy and you know, really just attacking hard. You have to go for this Leaf Storm set. So that's the one set we're going to be looking at because, in all honesty, Lorantis is not going to be a hugely competitive Pokemon. If it ends up getting access to, for example, Super Power, could be pretty good because obviously that will raise its attack and defense when used with Contrary. But for the moment, we're just going to look at a Leaf Storm set. So, move wise, of course, we start off with Leaf Storm. Then we have Synthesis, Substitute, and Toxic. Although you could switch out Synthesis or Substitute for Defog if you really wanted to as well. Ability is, of course, Contrary here. Nature is a timid one to boost our speed and lower our physical attack since we're not using it. And how hard item is going to be a life orb because, really, with your mediocre defenses and low speed, you want to be getting as much damage off as possible in the few hits you have. Eevees sort of support this with giving it maximum special attack EVs so we can do all the damage as possible with Leaf Storm, and then spreading the rest with health points and speed. And I said obviously your speed is very high, but this will give you enough speed to outspeed some Pokemon that otherwise would give you problems, and the rest in health points just allows you to get, get a bit more bulk, so you can at least get one Leaf Storm up and start powering up like that. So the idea here is you lose Leaf Storm. That's really the, that's the idea. You use Leaf Storm, you get plus two special attack. If you're still alive, you use Leaf Storm again. Hopefully it hits, for example, and then you just keep going and it keeps boosting your special attack. In terms of the rest of the move, Paul Philorantis doesn't really get any other good special attacking moves, um, and generally you wouldn't want to use them anyway, because Leaf Storm will keep boosting that special attack. And nothing is immune to grass type moves, which is one benefit, I suppose, which means you can always hit something, um, and you know, even if it's resisted, it's still losing decent damage if you're at plus two or maybe plus four special attack. In terms of your other moves, Synthesis is there for the, you know, obviously Life Orb, you know you're going to lose a bit of health points. If the enemy is completely clueless and letting you do whatever they want, you can always Synthesis when you get up to half health and restore your health points up, or at least try and Synthesis, you know, because obviously you don't want to get plus four special attack and then just completely lose it because that's it. You can always try and keep yourself in the battle, basically. Substitute is another way to do this. You could possibly switch out their Life Orb for a Leftovers if you want to go for that, so you can get some help and restoration behind the scenes. You will do less damage, but you could be a bit more you know, alive, I suppose, for longer. Uh, and then Toxic is the last slot. As I mentioned, you could switch out any of those for Defog if you wanted, because it's just another option to use, really. Or Aromatherapy, because of course, healing out your team is pretty damn good as well. But yeah, uh, that's sort of it for Laurentis. You just go and use Leaf Storm, really, from the moment. As I mentioned, if it gets superpower in the future, if it's tutor, maybe even the um, well, possible Gen 4 remakes come out. We could see it being used as a physical attacker then, but for the moment, really, it's just Leaf Storm or Bust, really. So that's going to be it for Lorantis today. But of course, do not forget to vote for next episode's Pokemon. We have a Lolan form once more, either a Lolan Ninetales or a Lolan Executor. So let me know whether you'd like to see Ninetales by commenting Ninetales or Executor by commenting Executor. But for now, this is going to be it for me for today. So I shall see you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, my friends.